Everybody, first for you at 4 o'clock, a tropical disturbance is forecasted to enter the Gulf of Mexico this weekend. And our eyes are on the tropics. Let's go straight over to meteorologist Jay Gallet. Jay, Jay, a lot of questions about this uh, disturbance. The first, of course, is it a threat to us? Well, right now, Camille, I mean, any time a disturbance gets into the Gulf of Mexico, it always can be a disturbance. The question is, will it? We've got a couple of other things going on. We'll touch upon those real quickly here. We've got Tropical Storm Edward right here, situated uh, probably about the central portion of the Atlantic with wind speeds of 45 miles per hour. Then we have another disturbance right now just moving off the coast of Africa, really just south of the Cape Verde Islands with a 20%. 2020 means 20% over the next two days and 20% over the next five days. But all rise are on this feature right here, especially around here in southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi. We'll get in just a bit closer here. And here's what we have working. Now, as you can see, we've got uh, on the visible satellite imagery a nice swirl here. You can make out a nice area of low pressure. Now, the center of circulation is right here. Right now, let me give you the latest uh, percentages here 20%. Over the next two days and 30% over the next five days. That's where we stand right now. Here's the center just near Fort Myers. This is going to move on into the Gulf of Mexico. This will probably happen late tonight. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, make sure you stay weather aware because that's where this feature is going to be in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, we're going to zoom out a little bit. What I want to show you is that while the center of circulation is really right here, notice where all the thunderstorm activity is. It's pushed off toward the south southwest, and that bodes well for us. The upper winds are very, very strong. We call that wind shear, and that's expected to stay in place. Another feature can you see all of this right here? That's dry air. So, right now, as it stands, we've got dry air moving into this system. We've got strong upper level winds, and those strong upper level winds are forecast to stick around. And that's why I think. We're going to be okay as this system gets into the Gulf of Mexico. When I come back, I'll show you what the spaghetti plots are saying. Camille, back.